When the Cyberpunk game came out, this meme also came out. Why do you come? Welcome. And I've been obsessed with it to the point where I wanted to add it to my live stream. So I'm going to show you how I did it. We are going to be using StreamerBot for this video. Assuming that you have OBS installed, you know the basics. You also have StreamerBot installed. If you don't know what StreamerBot is, I'm going to link a video in the description from Nutty that will explain everything about it and how to install it and everything that it can do. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we need is that little sound bite, that beat drop, if you will. We need that as an audio file and there's multiple ways of doing it. You can use a website that takes a YouTube video, turns it into an MP3 and then you trim it, all of that. I use Audacity. If you go here to audio host, you can choose Windows W-A-S-A-P-I. And then from there, you can select your microphone to be your speakers. If you're using your headset, you pick your headset. If you're using your monitor, you use your monitor. So now if I play any video and click record, it will record basically my desktop audio. If I need your body, I'll fucking dick. Okay, so now I have the part. I can bump up the volume a little bit. And I know that this is the part that I want. I can select by clicking and dragging. You can pick the select tool here, press delete, boom. And when it ends, we also need it to end. So let's select that part, delete, boom. Okay, file, save other, MP3 or wave, both will work. Let's go with wave. And then we can name it whatever we want. I'm gonna name it music, press save. Click OK, and now we have it. The second thing we're gonna need is that frame with a word underneath it. Just a black background, white border, and then a white word underneath it. You can do this with any editing software. I'm gonna be using Photoshop. So we know our base canvas is 1080p, so we're gonna put 1080p, 300 resolution. This doesn't matter that much. You can always like scale it or whatever. And then here, I'm gonna select the background. I'm gonna press Control I to invert it. That's gonna give us a black background, basically. And I'm going to go ahead and create a rectangle. Go down rectangle tool and make it whatever, just so it's pretty visible. I'm gonna make it bigger than the actual meme, I think. I'm not gonna scale down the webcam for this at all. I'm just gonna place the frame on top of it with a transparent background. All right, nice. Here in appearance or up top here, you can see fill, you can get rid of the fill, go to stroke, pick white, and then we have dotted strokes here. Boom, let's make it just a line. And then here we can go ahead and make it thick. I don't remember if it was rectangle. It is rectangle, so let's Play around with that. Boom. Under properties, you can lower the roundness of your rectangle. And there you go. Boom. For the text, you can click on the text tool. Click under here. And we're going to put something that is pretty universal. Now, I'm thinking in the future, I'm going to remake this whole thing so that people can type whatever they want, even though that sounds dangerous. But what is uh, pretty common, especially in my streams. My chat is always like, what the heck is going on? Now we want the middle part to be transparent and we want to cut it off of the background. Now we're going to go ahead and click on that lock that's on our background to unlock it because we're going to cut a chunk out of it. I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and click once on that little icon near the rectangle. And then I'm going to go down here and click add layer mask. Okay, now it did the opposite of what I want. So I'm going to press control I to invert the mask. There you go. That's it. Now you can export it. We can go file, export, quick export as PNG. Call this one frame, boom, we're almost there. So this is the one that I have for my current stream. So as you can see, it immediately starts playing as soon as we click on the scene. That is through our media source for our sound. We have our frame and then we have a screenshot from, I don't even remember when. This is what we're gonna be doing. So you wanna go ahead and create a new scene. Let's call this one cyber or cuber, I guess. <laughs> And we're going to add a media source that is for our sound. I'm going to call it uh, Cuber Sound. <laughs> and we're going to go find it here. Click Browse, go find it. And it's our music.wave. And in the options here, you want to make sure that Restart Playback when source becomes active is checked. Do not loop it. <laughs> Click OK. And it actually played, except we can't hear it because it played uh, without monitoring it. If you turn it off and back on, you can see that it's playing in OBS. So you can click on the little cog wheel when you see it in the audio mixer, go to advanced properties, and you can basically treat it as an alert. You want to hear it and you don't want it to appear as its own source. You want it to be part of your desktop audio, for example. So under Cuber sound, you go to audio monitoring and you can go to monitor only mute output. Close. Now we're going to make sure that we lower the volume and we're going to turn it off and on again. Nice. Now let's add the frame. Click plus, add an image, click OK, browse, go find that frame, boom, boom. 
there it is. All right, the last thing we need is a screenshot and we are going to figure that out once we have StreamerBot open. Okay, now we have StreamerBot open. You wanna make sure that your authentication is successful with OBS. If you don't know how to do that, watch Nadi's video on how to set up StreamerBot. But basically we're gonna go under the actions tab and we're gonna create a new action. What we wanted to do is basically take a screenshot for now and then we can add that screenshot to our scene. So right click to add a new action. Click add, I'm gonna call this one Cuber. We're gonna stick with the meme, test. Put it in a group if you want, whatever. Click okay. We're gonna right click, we're gonna add action. We're gonna go to OBS and we're gonna go to take screenshot, all right? Now it's gonna ask you which scene and which source you want to take the screenshot from. This is where you pick your camera from wherever you have a huge camera, basically. For example, I have this full scene where my main camera is, I can pick this camera. Okay, so my scene is going to be full and the source is going to be main cam. That's just how I name my camera in my scene. Now very important here is file path is where the screenshot is going to be. That's it. That's where it's going to be. Now you're supposed to type where the screenshot is going to be. And one thing you can do is go to that folder in your explorer here and up top at the address bar, click away from everything, control C and go back to streamer bot, control V. Now my technique in order to basically override the same file over and over again is to basically create an image and put the name of the image straight into the path. So go back to Explorer. I'm gonna control C and control V on the frame.png. I'm gonna click again to rename it. And this is gonna be our screenshot, nice. So all we need to do is add screenshot.png to that path. So add backslash screenshot dot png and click okay now if you want you can test it go back to obs go to your scene it's gonna play the sound it's gonna play it every single time you just click on it click plus add image name it okay browse go find it okay right now it looks like this because we just copied something else and make sure that the screenshot is under everything it should be under the frame only, right? Right now it looks exactly like the frame because we duplicated, but as soon as we run the action, it's gonna take the screenshot, it's gonna replace our file. Okay, so basically this scene is ready. And what we would want to do is wherever scene you want people to be able to trigger this, or if you wanna trigger this yourself, you can go here, for example, you can click plus and add a scene. And in this case, we're gonna pick Cuber because that's what we called it. Click okay. Right now it doesn't have the screenshot and you can keep it on top of everything if you want to. And this is how this works. Basically, we're just gonna ask StreamerBot to turn this on and off. If I turn it off, it disappears. It's gonna turn on, play with the sound, and then after two seconds, it's over. You just turn it off until someone triggers it again. That's it. Let's go back to StreamerBot and do just that. So right click, add action, go to OBS, source visibility state. Boom, okay, this scene is gonna be full, the source is gonna be Cuber, and we want it to make and we want to make it visible. Click OK. Take screenshot, make source visible. Now we want it to wait two seconds, basically the duration of the sound, and then make it invisible. Click add action, delay, 2000 millisecond. That's two two seconds. Click OK. Boom, there's a delay. Right click, OBS, set source visibility state, same scene, source cuber state, hidden. You can also use a toggle if you want, but like I, I like to keep it strict. <laughs> and that's basically it. Depending on what you want to trigger it, you can use channel points, you can use voice control, you can use commands, hotkeys, alerts, whatever. If you watch the actual video on StreamerBot, you'll know how to do all that. But let's uh, let's put a command, add, and we're gonna call this one Cuber, exclamation mark Cuber. And then under action, you can pick, and we're gonna go find our Cuber test. Click select, boom. Okay, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna make sure I connect to Twitch because I believe that's how it has access to my chat. OK, I'm gonna go back to OBS to test it. And uh, hopefully it does take the screenshot. I have my chat right here and I can type Cuber. <laughs> a better version of this would be maybe like a timer, like a three, two, one, so you can pose for this screenshot. But right now, uh, it works really well. 
And that's how you do it, kids. <laughs> Another version of it could be like maybe a list of words and it picks one random word to pick underneath uh, to put underneath the frame every single time. Or you can maybe allow people to type whatever they want and then it shows up. I believe there's a TikTok filter that basically gives you a caption for a meme and you have to act it out. This could be a way of doing it, but yeah, hopefully everything was clear enough for you. If you have any questions, you can leave them in a the comment section below. Please, please, please make sure you go watch Nutty's videos on Streamerbot. I myself am just getting into it, but I do plan on making more creative stuff with it. Make sure you follow me on Twitch if you want to see the stuff that I make in action. And also, if you're looking for some dope overlays to make your Twitch channel look amazing, go to gumroad.com slash get level. Most of them are free. But for now, I gotta thank you for watching. And remember, with great responsibility, come...